Hey everyone, Jason here again. Welcome to my knot channel. In this video, we're going to have a look at the cat's paw and double cat's paw knots. The cat's paw and double cat's paw knots are technically hitch knots. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie both variations of the cat's paw. Let's first have a look at how to tie the single cat's paw knot. To begin, you'll want to have some form of clasp, buckle, or ring that you'll use to anchor your knot. Start tying the knot in the same manner that you would tie a lark's head knot. Pass a bite of paracord through the top side of your clasp, and then pass the tail ends through the loop. Now you have a lark's head knot. Let's continue with the single cat's paw knot. To tie the single cat's paw knot, start with your lark's head knot tied to your clasp. From there, loosen your knot a little bit and spread the strands apart as shown here. Now, rotate your clasp down and through the opening. One full turn. Hold your clasp with one hand. Pull on both ends to stretch it out a little, but don't overstretch it. Now carefully cinch up your knot, trying to keep both sides even as you go. As your cat's paw knot begins to tighten, you'll want to adjust the knot a little, make it nice and tidy and even on both sides. Finish cinching it up nice and tight, and there you have it. When you're finished, you'll have something that looks like this. The single cat's paw knot. Okay, now let's have a look at how to tie the double cat's paw knot, which is tied similarly, but I can give you a tip to help it come together nice and easy. Like we did with the single cat's paw knot, we're going to start out the same way, by beginning with a lark's head knot setup. Pass a bite of paracord through the top side of your clasp, and then pass the tail ends through the loop. From there, loosen your knot a bit, Spread the strands apart as shown here. Rotate your clasp down and through the opening two full turns. Hold your clasp with one hand and your cordage in the other hand. Because of the double twists in your cordage, everything's going to feel a bit stiff. And as you begin to cinch the knot, the twists or wraps might not want to go in the direction that you want them to go. What I find helps keep the cord moving in the right direction is to pull on both ends to stretch it out a little without overstretching it. You basically want to try to keep everything taut as you cinch. Cinch up your knot, trying to keep both sides even as you go. When you get near the end, you may need to adjust one side of your knot to convince it to lay in the way that the knot should finish. Just make the adjustment and then finish cinching the knot tight. Once it's tight, everything will hold in place. When you're finished, your double cat's paw knot will look something like this. Of course, there are many different knots that you can use when tying paracord projects. If you'd like to see more, then I recommend my video, 10 Paracord Knots That Every Paracorder Should Know. I hope you check it out. And thanks for watching.